Never let it rest until your good is your better and your better is your best, okay? I'm gonna say it a couple times. I want you to repeat it after me, okay? Good, better, best. Good, good better, best. Never let it rest. Never let it rest. Until your good is your better. Until your good is your better. And your better is your best. And your better is your best. Good, better, best. Good, good better, better, best. Never let it rest. Never let it rest. Until your good is your better. Until your good is your better. And your better is your best. And your better is your best. Good, better, best. Good, better, best. Never let it rest. Never let it rest. Until your good is your better. Until your good is your better. And your better is your best. And your better is your best. You are the best. That's, that signifies you are the best. And you know what? You have a chance every day, not only on the playing field, but in the classroom, to be good, to get even better, and to be the best person and the best student athlete you can be. That's what Lenore Ryan gave me the opportunity to do. I didn't know exactly where I wanted to go or what I wanted to do or how, I didn't even know how to get there, okay? But I went to class. I had great teammates, I had great classmates, and I had awesome professors. And there's a guy that used to be around here named Doc Oates. And Doc Oates used to talk to us, Clarence Stasevich, talk about Clarence Stasevich, you know, and, and, and there was so much history and so much tradition that encompassed Lenore Ryan. And you know, I, I was very proud to be a part of that. And I just had to figure out who I was and what I wanted to do. But when you're your age, you think you know, but you really don't know, okay? So you graduate, and that's the scariest part, man. You graduate and you're out there, but you got a lot of tools and a lot of resources because you're good at what you do. You're good at what you do. You know how to get it done. You know how to win. You know how to be a champion. You know how to, you know how to go study. And you know how to get in the classroom. You know how to greet people. You know how to meet people. You know how to make a way for yourself. You don't win a championship by just haphazardly, okay? I went out and I met people. I started in coaching. There's a guy that comes here annually that helped me get into the National Football League named Ronnie Lott, okay? Ronnie Lott put on a, an internship program with a, a great coach from San Francisco named Bill Walsh, okay? And he would have coaches come in to San Francisco and learn about the San Francisco, the West Coast system, learn about coaching, learn about coaching techniques, uh, and, and then just meet people. Just meet people and, and, and understand that, hey, as you meet people along the walks of, of life, they may be, be able to help you in your journey to get where you want to get to. Well, I was able to get to the National Football League, and then I just kept working. I kept working to be a good position coach. I kept working to be a better defensive coordinator. And as a result, we're the best as champions. We, as a Lenore Ryan family, we're the best as, cha as champions. Now the question is, can we do it again? Can we repeat? Can we do it again? The talent is here. The makings of a good, good football team is here. You have to believe though. And everything starts out with the belief. To be good, to be better, to be the best, you have to believe. When you're getting knocked down and when people count you out, when people don't think you can do it, Believe me, man, I work in New York. I work in a media market where if you lose a game, you're the worst coach in the National Football League, okay? You're the worst player in the National Football League, and you have to put that behind you. You have to be strong. You have to be strong. I encourage you to continue to be strong, not only in the weight room, but mentally. But mentally be strong. Your coaches are providing that those tools for you. If they're getting on your butt out here, you know, sometimes we don't like it, right? Well, I know. Hey, as a player, I didn't like my coaches sometimes, okay? But they're doing what's best for you, okay? They're trying to make you mentally and physically tough. Because in this world, and in this economy, and in this job market, they're preparing you to go out and be the best people you can be and challenge you to go out and make a difference. And as Lenore Ryan graduates men, and the Lenore Ryan students, and the upcoming graduates, we can make a difference. We can make a difference. I don't care how big the school is, it's how big your heart is and how big your belief is. It's how big your heart is and how big your belief is. I've got big beliefs. We've got big beliefs in you. You can be good, you can be better, and you can continually be the best. And that's what we strive for. So men, 
I look forward to seeing you play in the fall. I wish I could have seen you practice more here, but I can tell there's talent out here. I can tell there's great gifts of football knowledge and know-how out here. Some of you aspire to play in the National Football League, okay? If you don't reach that goal, men, life doesn't end, okay? Life doesn't end. I, wa I, I coached in college football for 13 years, all right? And I wanted to help young men like yourself know that after football, there is something after football. The classroom, men. That's, what, that's where you get your foundation. That's where you win. That's where you succeed in this world. If you go in the classroom and get it done, you always have something to fall back on if football doesn't work out. If football doesn't work out, if athletics doesn't work out for you, you have knowledge and no one can take that away from you. No one can take that away from you. Like no one can take this championship away from you, okay? You've worked for it and you've earned it. Work in the classroom, earn it, and you'll be successful. Thank you, Lenore Ryan Bears.